Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a super exciting video. I just got a huge Andromeda's Moon order in the mail yesterday. Um, I immediately ripped it open and started sniffing everything. Um, I was so excited to get it. This is a house that had been recommended to me by a subscriber, the same subscriber who recommended CJ Sense to me. After she recommended CJ Sense to me and I did some ordering and got those, I knew I needed to try Andromeda's Moon because she spoke really highly of them. So I went I went through their entire website and I got a ton of stuff, you guys. I got a ton of stuff. It did take a little bit to get my order because something happened with the owner in between the time that I placed my order and she was able to get it ready and shipped for me. I think she had like some uh, something major go on in her life and so because it took a little bit longer for her to get my order out, she upgraded everything to bigger sizes so i like cannot even believe i have some of the most amazing clones here you guys i can't even wait to to get into it so let's start with <laughs> her logo i am obsessed so this is the business card that came and look at this stunning logo i think it's a luna moth which i am obsessed with and I love the kind of, I don't know if it you can see it on camera, but there's this kind of like geometric thing. And just like with the tie-dye, I don't even know. I need to find her on TikTok because she's got a TikTok. Um, but yeah, she's got her own website. She's also on Etsy. And yeah, just beautiful. And I love she, there's a little sticker on the inside of the box that says, thank you for supporting my small business. And I am such a huge advocate for us shopping small. Seriously, like we've got to support our small business owners, especially in this economic climate. So anyways, and these, you guys, some of these are so, well, all of them are really good. Some of them are absolutely exceptional though, and I can't wait to talk about them. So all of these were supposed to be three mils and she upgraded me to seven and a half mils. So just a ton of perfume. I'm so thankful. That was so sweet of her to do. And my Dear, dear friend, she ordered, she placed an order too and hers took a little bit longer to get to and she upgraded hers as well. Just what an amazing thing to do for your customers. That just shows that she really appreciates her customers. Okay, so the first one I picked up is this one here. This is inspired by Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm. I have never smelled the, actually, do I have, I think I might have a sample of Poets of Berlin, but you guys, this smells even without knowing or being able to remember exactly what Poets of Berlin smells like. And I might not have ever smelled it, but I feel like I have. It smells like a niche perfume. It smells like, I just have a feeling it's probably a pretty, pretty dead on ringer for the real thing. Oh my gosh. I love this because it's slightly vintage smelling. It's got something intensely green in the top like green and herbaceous smelling. And I'm so sorry, my cat is sitting in the hall. Um, I do have a cat that has a collapsed trachea. She is very loud when she breathes. She is fine. She is not in distress. Um, so just know she's she's been, you know, she's living her best life. She's living the best life that she can. She's, um, yeah, just know that she's not in distress. She has been to a vet she's she's good okay but I do have to keep filming because it is it's like almost six o'clock at night um, I still have a lot more to go so I've got to keep going but okay so the top notes on this one are blueberry and lemon heart notes are bamboo and green wild orris and the base notes are vanilla bean sandalwood and vetiver this one is so nice it's kind of a, it's a vanilla, but it's got something really, really green, like a really fresh green note in the top. I have a feeling that on skin though, this is just gonna dry down to be um, like a really beautiful, kind of slightly herbal smelling vanilla. It's warm, it's a little vintage smelling. I love this one. I have a feeling that this is probably very, very close to the real thing. Um, I ordered, 
The reason I can say that is because I ordered Zoologist B to be kind of my control fragrance. If the B and I've never smelled another clone of B, of Zoologist B, and so I felt like my line of thinking was, well, if Zoologist B is done really, really well, then they're probably all done really, really well. And you guys, Zoologist B is, I mean, it's almost spot on. I do need to test it side by side on skin to see um, just how close it is on skin. But man, when I sprayed it, I was, amazed i could not believe how much it it smelled like the real thing but anyways that is the first one that is poets of berlin i'm so excited about these i'm gonna go on for too long for the first few and it's funny because people say with poets of berlin that it reminds them of mark jacobs decadence and i can see that in the dry down um it does resemble decadence a little bit in the dry down, but decadence doesn't have anything really green smelling like that. Decadence is a little bit sweeter. Um, it's a little bit denser smelling than the Poets of Berlin because it's got some plum in it and I believe it's got some saffron in it. Um, so it's, they're very similar, but very different at the same time. Okay, next we've got this one here. This is inspired by Vanilla Diorama from Dior. This one, you guys, oh man, was I so excited about this. I knew that, like I said about B, I knew using B as kind of my control fragrance, I knew that all of the rest of these were gonna be really good clones, even though I haven't smelled this one yet. I will pick up decants of all of them to test next to each other, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that these are pretty darned close. If B is as close it, it, as it is, and B is a very, very complex, probably not super easy to clone kind of fragrance, um, I just have a feeling all of the rest of these are really, really close. And I can tell you in their own right, they're really, really good. The, the two that I tested on skin, I put one on one arm and one on the other, and both of them lasted for hours and hours. So I can only imagine what they're going to be like spraying them all over. This one is, it's pretty simple. It's not, it's not anything groundbreaking, but this one is, it's got top notes of orange, pink pepper, and lemon, uh, middle notes of rum, cacao, and cardamom. Base notes are bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. And it's a really nice one. I get a lot of the spice. I definitely get a lot of the pink pepper and the cardamom. It's really smooth. It's really smoothed out. It's nice. It's not overly sweet at all. It's a really easy to wear, smooth, not sweet, not sweet at all, spiced vanilla fragrance. I really, really like this one. I did, this is one of the ones that I sprayed on my hand and it lasted forever. And it's funny because it's not a powerhouse of a fragrance, like it's not a super strong fragrance. It's kind of mild smelling, but once it gets on your skin and it kind of starts warming on your skin, it gets very, very fragrant. I have a feeling this one will wear a little bit close to the skin, but not, probably not terribly close, but maybe a little bit close to the skin. I could smell it on my arm for hours. I mean hours. And I was not expecting that out of this one. In fact, it's way more fragrant on than even in the bottle. It's such a good one. I am so, so happy to have this one and so excited that you can get such good clones for such good prices. So anyways, that one is inspired by Vanilla Diorama. How cute is the stuffing that came to? It's like blue, yellow, and pink stuffing. It's so cute. Okay. And she also included some little candies, little Snickers, and a little peppermint Andes mint. It was just such a fun package to get in the mail. Okay, next I picked up this one here. This is inspired by Sweet from Lolita Lempica. I've got a sample of the original formulation of Sweet. Sweet, unfortunately, has been reformulated. I have been, I have been looking for months and months and months for a bottle of the original formulation of Sweet. Um, I have not been able to find a bottle yet. So in the meantime, I was like, well, I'm going to order a clone and I will test this next to the real thing if I can. Actually, it's probably going to be a while because I think all my samples are in storage. 
Um, I don't think I've got that sample, but I do have a sample of the original formulation of sweet. I do want to test this next to it to see if it's close. And if it is, I'll just buy, I'll just buy a bottle of this. Actually, I probably wouldn't even need more than seven and a half mil. This is probably plenty. Uh, I love this and this smells just like it. The reason I love the original formulation of Sweet so much is because it's got, um, it's got this like lip gloss note in it. Um, I can't remember exactly how they describe it, but it's, it's like a lip gloss note and you can smell it in this. I mean, it's, yes, you get the, I think it's like a cherry lip gloss note or something. And it's also got like a cola note in it and you get both of them. Yeah, I don't think I would even, I, I can probably stop looking for a bottle of the original formulation because this smells exactly like it. That's the only thing I was worried about. I was like, well, I wonder if they'll be able to get that lip gloss note to translate. Absolutely, it's here. Um, I have a feeling that this one will last way, way longer, like will perform way better than the Lolita Olympica because the Lolita Olympica didn't perform very well on me at all. I have a feeling this one will. So this is like the best of everything. It smells exactly like it. It's got that lip gloss note and that cola note. And yeah, I'm super excited. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to test this one on my skin. So anyways, that is uh, inspired by Sweet Eau de Parfum from Lolita Limpica. Okay, next we have this one here. This is inspired by Red Velvet Hot Chocolate Eau de Parfum. Um, I don't know who makes Red Velvet Hot Chocolate. Let me look it up really quickly. It looks like it's by a house called 1692. It was a limited edition perfume and it's called Red Velvet Hot Chocolate. It looks like the notes are dark chocolate, red velvet cake accord, buttermilk and cream. Actually, let's see, notes of dark chocolate, milk chocolate, red velvet cake accord, yeah, buttermilk and cream. So yeah, I had never heard of this or even that house, but I saw that, <laughs> I saw red, red Velvet Hot Chocolate and I had to have it. Oh gosh, you guys. Ugh, if you like a chocolate perfume, I think you would love it. I love a chocolate perfume. And this one is, it's a really milky, it's a really milky perfume, but it's got, it's almost like a bitter dark chocolate. Yeah, it's like a bitter dark chocolate note, so it's not, I really like it. I really like it. This is gonna be, I think, a love or a hate for people. It's not overly sweet, and I think that that's what I love about it a lot. It's very, very creamy. It's got, and buttermilk is a little, it has a little bit of a tartness to it, so you definitely get a little bit of that tartness. And then again, the dark, the chocolate is more of like a dark, bitter chocolate rather than like a creamy, sweet milk chocolate. I love it. I can't wait to try this one on skin. Um, I just have a feeling it's gonna be so good on skin. These sprayers are so nice too. They, you get a really nice mist with these decants and I love that they're in glass bottles. I don't know, they're just, they're really nice. Yeah, this one's nice because it's not overly sweet. Oh gosh, it's so good. So anyways, that one is called Red Velvet Hot Chocolate. It's a good one. Next we have got this one. Um, this is inspired by Nishane Hasavat. And it's been a long time since I've smelled Hasavat, but I remember loving it. Yeah, oh, I love it. <laughs> this is so good, and this definitely smells, it definitely smells very, very close. And that's the thing about these, they smell really, really expensive. I mean, they smell like, they smell like the real perfumes. I love this one. So Hasavat is pretty unisex, but it's one of those fragrances that is very, middle of the road. It doesn't lean masculine, it doesn't lean feminine. It's just perfect. Okay, so Hasavat is uh, pineapple, grapefruit, and bergamot, cedar, patchouli, jasmine, oak moss, and woody notes. So yeah, it's pretty much, it's just a really nice, fresh, citrusy. It's got like a really nice smoothness in it though that gives it a little bit of a skin-like quality. So it's like a really beautiful, clean, fresh, kind of skin-like type scent, but really strong. So it's definitely not like skin-like in that it's 
you know, wear, is going to wear close to the skin. It's very strong. But I really like this one. It's This one is going to be really nice in the warmer weather. Um, so anyway, and this is a great one to just throw on like when you get out of the shower or something like that. So anyways, that one is inspired by Hasavat by Nishane. Oh, gosh, I love the red velvet hot chocolate, you guys. It's so nice. It's so good because it's not overly sweet and it's not a sweet milky chocolate, which I don't love. I love a dark chocolate or like a cocoa powder note. I'm not a huge fan of a milky, really sweet milky chocolate note. Okay, next I have got this one here is called Inspired by uh, 10,019 Wonders, which is by X Nilo. I hope I am saying that right. I really don't know. Um, if I am saying that right, but yeah, this is one that I just picked up because of the notes. I've never smelled this one before. Oh, this is a nice one though. This one, it says almond is balanced by a blend of dates and caramel tinged with orange blossom. The ultimate fusion of cocoa and dark vanilla gives its sillage a daring elegance. For having notes like caramel and cocoa and dark vanilla, it's pretty light. It's like a very light and airy kind of scent. I'm gonna have to try this one on, let me spray this one on my other hand. It's warm and cozy and it's got all those beautiful notes in it, but it's light. It's a light perfume. It's not heavy at all. It's super, super nice. I, this one, when I first sprayed it, I wasn't sure about it. Oh man, it's so much nicer on skin too than on paper. It's really a beautiful one very warm and cozy but light and i think this one i don't know we'll have to see this one might wear a little bit closer to the skin there's some kind of a citrus in the top it's probably something as simple as like bergamot but it, it's really giving it a lightness in the top it's good this is such a good one so anyways that is inspired by 10,019 wonders from Ex Nilo. Next we have got this one here. This is inspired by Coconut Nanas. Um, I'm gonna have to look up. I think this is more of like a an indie house. So this is from, no, this is from a niche house called Rirana and it's called Coconut Nanas. So this one, oh my goodness, you guys. This one is incredible. I cannot wait for warm weather again. Actually, I'll probably have like a tropical day and just so I can wear this over my banana lotion because it's gonna be amazing. This is so yummy, you guys. This is pineapple. Yeah, it's like a pineapple coconut fragrance, but really clean smelling. It's not super synthetic smelling at all. Oh, I love it so, so much. So this one is a pineapple, coconut, peach, frangipani, tiare flower, musk, and saffron. It's beautiful. It smells like a tropical drink. It smells so, so good. The florals in it are just slightly dense. It's really rich and kind of thick smelling. I love it. I love it so much. And I am, I'm gonna, I don't think it's got any um, banana in it, but I'm gonna layer it over banana lotion because I think it will be amazing. So anyways, that one is inspired by Coconut Nanas from Rirana. Okay, next is the B. This one, oh my gosh, you guys, inspired by Zoologist B. B is, it's such a complex perfume. I honestly, I can't. I did not expect this to be as good as it is. I did not expect this. I'm gonna have to test this on skin next to the original, next to the real thing. But I was not expecting this to be as good as it is. I mean, on paper, it's like easily a 95% dupe. And it might even be better than that on skin. And I knew this was gonna be a hard one because it's got so many notes in it. It's so complex. It's so, so special smelling. I was like, there's no way anybody's gonna be able to clone B. Boy, was I wrong. B is uh, orange ginger syrup, royal jelly accord, broom heliotrope, mimosa orange flower, benzoin, labdanum, musks, sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. I'm seriously amazed, and I know B. Like, it's 
I think B is probably my favorite perfume in the world. I love it so much. It's such a special fragrance and I am in awe that this smells. So, in fact, I think even on paper, I think it's closer to like a 97% dupe. It's so, so close, so close. I'll do an is it a dupe video for you guys because I think that that is a really important is it a dupe video to do. Um, because if there is such a good bee dupe out there, I think that that would be amazing for people because bee is, th the price is prohibitive. It's almost, it's just not accessible to many people. Most people cannot pay $200 for a bottle of perfume, which is why I love houses like this that make fragrances like this accessible to everyone. So I will do an is it a dupe video for you guys and I will let you know for sure. Um, but I can tell you, it's really, really close. So good. So anyways, that is inspired by B. Okay, next we have, this is another one. When I smelled this, I was like, holy cow. Um, this is inspired by Arabian's Tonka from Mansara or Montal. Let me look it up. I never know which one of those houses. I think it's actually Montal. Yeah, it's Montal. Um, this smells identical. It smells identical. And it's funny because somebody had asked me to find a dupe for Arabian Tonka. Well, here you go. It smells identical. I've got, and I should have my sample of Arabian Tonka here. So I'll do a, an is it a dupe video for this as well. This, it's identical. It's so close. Because you guys know that Mansara and Montal fragrances, a lot of them have that kind of slight metallic musk in the base, but it makes things smell really expensive because a lot of niche perfumery uses that. And this has it. But this one is more uh, in more of a concentration that I can tolerate because I'm not a huge fan of that. It's identical, identical. I will of course have to test it on skin, but I have a feeling that it's only gonna be even more identical on skin. I think that it's gonna be like that with B too. I think on paper it smells identical, but on skin they're gonna be like, I just have a feeling we won't be able to tell, uh, that I won't be able to tell the difference. It's, this is a good one. This is such a good one. And I'm really excited about this one because again, it still has that same fragrance to it, but it's not so in your face in this one. It's a little bit more gentle in this one than in the original, than in Arabian Tonka. So I think I'll be able to tolerate it in this way better than in Arabian Tonka. So anyways, yeah, that is inspired by uh, Montal Arabian Tonka. If you're out there watching the person that wanted me to find a dupe of this, here it is. This is an amazing dupe of it. Okay, next we have got, ooh, I was so excited about this one. This is inspired by Elixir Charnel Gourmand Coquine from, uh, from Guerlain. This is a discontinued fragrance, so I'm super excited to have this. This, it's been some years back, but before they changed all the packaging and, and increased the price by $100 on these, I think Saks Fifth Avenue did a really good sale one year and I remember, um, I remember somebody texting me and being like, oh my gosh, Gourmand Coquine is on sale at Saks for like a really good price. I wanna say it was less than $200 for the bottle. I do not know why I did not jump on it. I should have and it was quickly discontinued after that. So yeah, I've been really sad that I was never able to get a bottle of it. And this is a Sylvain Delacorte fragrance too, which is why I probably love it so much. I love Sylvain Delacorte perfumes. Okay, so this is dark chocolate, cacao, uh, rum, vanilla, spices, rose, and pepper. It's very, very close to the original. I've got the Dua. Um, clone of this. So I'll have to test the, the, the two clones side by side just to see. This is a really, really nice clone though. The chocolate note in this is nicer than the chocolate note in the Dua. I think it's called dark chocolate rum and vanilla maybe, the Dua one. But yeah, this one is really, really, really nice. The chocolate note in this one is, I love it. I love this so much. I'm super excited. This is one that I was like, ooh, I might need to pick up a full bottle of that. 
um, while I can because it's a really good one. Even though I've got the Dua, I don't need a, another full bottle of another clone of it, but I might need it. I might need it. We'll see. So anyways, that is inspired by Elixir Charnel Gourmand Coquine. Okay, and then she upgraded. I got two 5 mils that she upgraded to 10 mils. Yeah, the first one is, I think the house name is e, Pro, e Profumi de Ferenz. And again, it's Viniglia del Madagascar. So it's got base notes of, it says creamy tones, a heart of vanilla of Madagascar, um, small accents of lily of the valley flowers, and it says vanilla is the primary fragrance of this perfume. This is basically a bourbon vanilla perfume. A really, really nice, warm bourbon vanilla. And somebody was just asking me about a good bourbon vanilla perfume. They, she said that she's got the Mix Bar bourbon vanilla, but she wants something that she can layer it with or probably something stronger and longer lasting. This is it. This is a great bourbon vanilla. It's really, really strong. This is another one. I think I sprayed on the vanilla Diorama on one hand and I sprayed this on the other. And this was even longer lasting than the vanilla Diorama and both of them were super long lasting. This one's, um, this one's stronger, richer. It's beautiful. I'm typically not a huge fan of bourbon vanilla, but this is such a gorgeous one. I love this one. I'm really, really excited to give this one a really good full wear test. This one is stunning. I love it. So anyways, that one is inspired by Viniglia del Madagascar by E Profumi di Ferenz, did I say? And then last but not least, we've got this one here. This is inspired by Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. This is a fragrance that I've been wanting to get my nose on for a long time. I've been dying to smell this. Um, so this one is Kumquat and Lime, Italian Iris, Violet, Lilac, Egyptian Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Vanilla, Malt, Musk Mallow, or Ambrette white musk, sandalwood, and cedar. And this one is gorgeous too. This is another, I got some really, really good ones. I got such good ones. Ugh, I love this. I'm such a sucker for anything with ambrette in it. I love ambrette. This is soft and warm and cozy and skin light and fuzzy smelling, not powdery. Like maybe just the slightest bit powdery, but more of a fuzziness because that's what Ambrette does for me. It gives a fragrance a fluffiness, not necessarily a powderiness. I love it. You get a little bit of the sweet violet. Oh, it's so yum. Oh, I love it so much. Actually, now that it's starting to dry down more, it is getting a little bit more powdery and probably from the violet. Yeah, I'm almost getting like a sweet kind of skin-like powderiness. It's beautiful, I love it. It reminds me of something. Yeah, this one, it does remind me a little bit of something. People say Janune Rose, um, I don't think so. That's another one I cannot wait to give that one a good test. So anyways, that one is inspired by Dama Bianca from Zerjoff. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I just picked up from Andromeda's Moon. What an amazing clone house. I will definitely be doing several Is It A Dupe videos. Let me know if there are any that you want me to pick up uh, decants of the real thing for and do an Is It A Dupe video. I would love to do that. And uh, the ones that I do have the real thing for, I will definitely do a video, especially for B. Um, I just think that that would be amazing to be able to uh, point some people in a direction where they could get an amazing dupe of B. So anyways, you guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.